So basically, I want to put the little girl on this background, correct? So I need to extract her off the background, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the one I did and go back to my original background layer, which is just the image, OK? I did retouch it a little bit, so I don't apply your style or your actions to it. You want this just to be retouched but raw imagery, so you can play with it later. One of the reasons I shoot with soft contrast, and this is something I learned from Joel, is because you can always add contrast to an image. It's really hard to take it away. So if you shoot with soft light that has a low contrast ratio, it's much easier for me to use curves and deepen that than it is for me to take a deep image and try to soften it. So it's one of the reasons, and your know, babies look good in soft light to begin with, but that's one of the reasons why I shoot things with such soft light, especially when I'm working with composites, is because I can always adjust it later should I need to. Okay? So getting good at extracting is one of the things you're going to have to do. Okay? When I took Richard's class, he made us extract subjects within 30 seconds. We had to do it over and over and over again until we could do it in under 30 seconds and do it well. Okay, so practice. Give yourself a little stopwatch and say, okay, how fast can I extract? Because extracting, you can spend a boatload of time on this, and sometimes it's not necessary, okay? I did not spend that much time extracting her. If you're going to do something that's like billboard size, then obviously you need to take a little extra time to extract it. But if it's just going to be on the internet and you're never going to print it, who cares? Okay? So I use the quick selection tool for the most part. Occasionally I'll go into other things. The quick selection tool acts, this is this right here, and again, I'm going to lose some of you. Warning, warning. The quick selection tool acts like a brush. So you just brush over the areas you want to select. The smaller your brush, the more detailed it will select. Now here is where memory is key in your computer. Because if you don't have, mem see how it's thinking, 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 thinking? If you don't have memory, it will take forever to extract something. So I strongly encourage you to um, get an SS3 drive as a, as a scratch disk, OK? And use that when you're compositing. As a matter of fact, just period using Photoshop. It'll really help you to um, move, do things quickly and efficiently, and you won't get frustrated, because there's nothing worse than waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. Go get some coffee, coffee, coffee. OK, so I'm just going to do a quick extraction here. Do you need some coffee? <laughs> Does it sound like I need coffee? <laughs> Not really. I am such a morning person. So now I'm just going to go in and see that little area of the background back there that's, oh yeah, my computer's going. Uh. Okay. I need to press my Alt tool. Hang on. Now I'm just pressing Alt Option to take away from my selection, okay? So I don't, I want, I've selected all this inside, but I don't want this part selected. Does that make sense? Because I'm trying to get rid of background. Oh, just. Maybe I do need coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be super um, perfectionist about this, but what you you do want to try to be as detailed as possible when you when you extract, especially if you're extracting for a composite. There's just you'll learn as you do this more and more what you need and what you don't. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into Refine Edge. Refine Edge is a part of CS. Six and greater. Stephen will probably know this more than me. It's CS5. Is it CS5? The um, let me just tell you the that refine edge tool is like a godsend. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for doing that. <laughs> because we used to have to go into channels and like do all kinds of funky stuff to make an extraction work well, especially like, and you still do for things like trees and leaves and stuff like that. There's a cherry tree right by my son's daycare. The other day, I was, it was like one of those stormy mornings where the clouds were just kind of filtering the light. And let me tell you, that tree looked amazing. And I seriously wanted to photograph it. But what stopped me was the fact that I would have to extract all the leaves. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't do that. That's just going to be a nightmare. So all I'm doing right now is just kind of picking out little parts of her hair that I know the Refine Edge tool will need help with. So I'm just kind of, this is kind of just experience and knowledge. So I'm, see, I'm not extracting everything because the Refine Edge tool is going to come in and help me with this. 
So I just kind of did a quick selection around the little girl. Then I click down here, the Refine Edge tool. Go ahead and copy my settings if you're interested in um, keeping this, because these settings tend to work quite well for what for extracting a subject off a of background, okay? This edge detection tool is one of the most valuable things in Refine Edge because what I can do is just, don't do that, is just paint around my uh, mask. I just pressed K to get into black and white mode and it will pick up the hair, see that? So it's, this is why Refine Edge is like God's gift to the planet. It's extracting the little fuzzy bits of her hair, okay? To make a, I mean, you can get peach fuzz off of someone's arm. That's how awesome the Refine Edge tool is, okay? So I can kind of select, I can um, rub, rub the Refine Edge tool around the edges of her hair. I can even do it on the edges of this little scarf because the scarf is a little bit see-through, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that really quick. And then once you like how it works, you just put on a new layer mask like that. Oh, my poor computer. And there you have it. She has been extracted off the background, and you can see all these little details in her hair have been preserved. 